Now we're switching gears a little bit and we're going to talk about um, vertebroplasty. Maybe you can just talk us through the types of patients that typically undergo that procedure and what's involved in performing that procedure. Sure. Um, those are procedures to treat compression fractures. And compression fractures are, are very common uh, as our population gets older, as patients get older, um, uh, the bones get weaker, and we can see compression. We can see compression fractures in patients who have normal, healthy bone, but usually it's with a pretty high energy trauma, like a car accident or falling really hard on the ice or something like that. We can see compression fractures in elderly people that occur when they cough or sneeze or step off of a curve or you know minor things like that. And it's a it's a fracture where the where the vertebra usually it's at usually it's at the thoracolumbar junction or at the at the lower thoracic or upper lumbar spine, but they can go all the way down into the lumbar spine. And it's when the when the front of the vertebra crushes. Uh, typically, if you look at the at a vertebra from the side, it's a it's a rectangle. Um, but in a compression fracture, the front of the vertebra collapses, the back stays intact, and it ends up wedge-shaped. And the, and the typical um, uh, deformity, the, the, the dowager's hump that you see sometimes in, uh, in elderly people, comes from having multiple compression fractures where their spine shortens in the front and, but stays high in the back, so they end up with that big curve. So these, these are fractures that, uh, that we've been treating for many, many years, and typically they they heal just fine, uh, sometimes with a brace, uh, sometimes not. Uh, so we use a brace if, if, the, if it can help the patient be more comfortable while they're healing. We typically give them three months to heal. There are some situations where uh, the patient is so uncomfortable that they can't get out of bed, uh, or we've given it two or three months and then they're still having a lot of pain. And in those situations, it's, it's very helpful to, uh, to squirt bone cement into the fractured vertebra. Bone cement is a is a plastic uh, polymer that we that was developed to cement joints in place, hip hip joints and knee joints, um, and so you uh, you mix it together in the operating room, and then you, and then it's uh, a thick uh, liquid, and it, and then you squirt it into the vertebra, and it hardens, and 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 in effect glues all the fractured pieces back together. When you when you treat somebody who has severe pain, can't get out of bed, they they almost have instant relief from the pain, and so it's, uh, it's quite effective. 